Hi friends, Destiny has united people numerous times in such spectacular ways that you won't even believe in stories. Nobody truly knows how two people come to meet each other by some coincidence or by destiny. However, in one moment, all the pieces of the puzzle come together in one major picture and then nobody will have the ability to transform anything. This is how you can depict what befell this young girl named Emmy Abrahamson. Before we start, welcome back to our channel where you can learn about really interesting stories with valuable lessons. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button to stay updated to our new videos. The young girl was born in a prosperous and affluent family. She spent her childhood in Sweden. Furthermore, subsequent to completing school, she shifted to London and graduated from university. Afterward, she became an actress in Amsterdam. And by the time she was 29, she was the director and art director of a whole theater located in Vienna. It appeared as though everything in her life was pre-planned to the littlest detail aside from a certain something. The young girl was desolate because of her work routine, work trips, and tours. She never got the opportunity to find her dream man. Also, when every last one of her companions had been married for quite a while and had kids, Emmy experienced cold, long, and lonely nights. Obviously, men paid her enough attention. However, perhaps she had not met the ideal man for her yet. The year was 2005. Emmy was 29 already and in 7 days, her birthday was to happen. However, this didn't make her happy. To fight her pitiful thoughts, the young lady chose to plan a little excursion for herself and go to Amsterdam. Following a busy day, the young lady was perched on a bench in wait of her companion, with whom she wanted to spend the vacation. She kept watching couples passing all night and somewhere inside she felt begrudged seeing them. She was tired and bored as there was nobody with whom she could share the great and awful moments of her life. So at that point, she made a wish. It will be her birthday in some time after all. Who knows, her wish may transform into reality. It was a calm moment that was ruined by a homeless person. Emmy saw a homeless man approaching her. Ordinarily, she would run away after seeing such fellows. She was only terrified of the destitute. With each step, the homeless man came nearer to the young lady and Emmy appeared to freeze. She was unable to move. The homeless man ended up being a young man, notwithstanding the fact that his entire face was nearly covered with hair. He was filthy and his odor was unpleasant that she could smell him from a distance. Coming nearer, he asked her the time. Despite the fact that there was quite a big clock on the opposite side of the bench, the young lady took a gander at him in bewilderment and quickly addressed half past five. As Emmy says, it was something odd, I never did such a thing. Additionally, I generally avoided homeless people, however, I can't explain that particular day. The person's boldness was most striking to her and perhaps because of the huge social distinction among them. The guy proceeded with the discussion and since there was sufficient time while Emmy was waiting there for a companion, she didn't try to push the homeless man away. However, she chose to converse with him a little. Word by word, they began talking and the young lady felt that it was extremely comfortable for her to chat with him. He comprehended her in the best possible way and she couldn't stop staring into his eyes. It was weird, however, she felt truly comfortable. The stranger was likewise looking at the lovely young lady. The discussion lasted about 10 minutes when Emmy's companion approached her. The stranger named Vic made another appointment jokingly at a similar spot following 5 days. His boldness was bewildering and energizing. Obviously, the young lady didn't plan to come on the said day and undoubtedly the stranger would likewise forget about it. Yet, the following week, she couldn't quit thinking about Vic. So she chose to pass near the same spot to watch from a remote place whether the stranger would go to the appointment. Shockingly, he was at the same place sitting tight for their next appointment. They talked about life and became acquainted with one another. Emmy now states with a grin, The strange man looked a little presentable and he even washed, yet his hands and nails were frightfully grimy. He showed up on a little bike and he was holding a bag, which, as I suspected, was just for crazy people. But then, I discovered that inside it were his camping bed and a beer can. That very night, the stranger man revealed that he had once moved to Europe, yet the finances immediately ran short and it didn't work out as he had arranged by any means. He was originally from the USA and he had no parents. Whenever he got little income, he would squander it on liquor and he even accepted that it was a negative behavioral pattern and he was unable to control it, so he ended up as a homeless man. Besides, he slept in a park for over a year. Emmy comprehended that he was only a destitute drunkard. However, she felt that something changed inside him when he saw her. Since that day, he stopped being 
alcoholic by any means. They talked for quite a time. Emmy was impressed because Vic had an unbelievable sense of humor and that she felt extremely happy with him. Towards the end of the night, Emmy said that she was going back to Vienna the following day. The young lady didn't have a clue whether they could ever meet again, and she left him her telephone number as a sign of respect, and then she left for Vienna. The young lady didn't quit remembering him, a sort of holiday romance, yet she is in Vienna and he is in Amsterdam. The day she turned 30, the phone rang in her home. The young lady hesitantly got the telephone, hoping to hear another congrats. However, she heard Vic's recognizable voice instead. Her heart began beating quicker. He just said, Hi, I recall that it's your birthday, so I chose to wish you a happy one by myself. The young lady expected to hear basic expression of congrats. However, Vic told her that he'll visit her. In confusion, she assumed he was close to her home. She asked how come that he managed to travel and Vic replied, I came here via train. He intended to come two days sooner, yet he was confined by the police for stealing a store's chicken. The young lady recollected that day her entire life as since that time, Vic and her have been inseparable. The man recited at the young lady's home and begun searching for work immediately. They stayed away from any liquor. Furthermore, he managed to change in a month to the point that nobody could see a homeless man in him. This attractive man couldn't be a similar homeless man from the night at the park. Two years later, Vic and Emmy got married. At the beginning, Vic got a job as an electrician and then the couple had twins in six years. So now he needed to work significantly harder as he felt considerably more responsible as both a husband and a father. Therefore, he got himself a little repair shop. 15 years have gone by from that point forward. The couple is progressing nicely. The twins know how their parents met, yet at the same time don't comprehend the little details. They simply thought that it was funny that their father used to live as a homeless man on the street. Therefore, Emmy composed the book How to Fall in Love with a Man Who Lives in a Bush. All things considered, she actually discovered her satisfaction under that small bush. Together, they showed up on the British Channel and gave an interview where they discussed the book and the narrative of their mutual love. As Emmy says herself, for every one of these years, I have never regretted that I went to that appointment. We've never at any point fought. What's more, he is the ideal spouse that I've longed for my entire life. So we learn from Emmy's story that every one of us has their own romantic tale. We are associated with the people who we love, and this story is the best verification of this, my friends. That's it for today. Let us know your thoughts about this lovely couple in the comments section. That's it for today, friends. Like this video and share it with your friends if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more wonderful stories coming your way on a regular basis. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.